Hi students, it's Kailash. Lesson number 9, Atomic and Nuclear Physics. In the lesson, le, Atomic Physics section, le, Alpha Particle Scattering Experiment and Distance of Closest Approach. In the two topics, immediately, badiya, Impact Parameter, that's one topic. So, you can see this in the three mark la, public. La, la. So, write a note on Impact Parameter. Abdin, so, in the impact parameter, in the video session, we will talk about it. Now, before going into the topic impact parameter, if you channel, subscribe to the channel, support and provide support, you will be very Subscribe to Please subscribe to the channel. support and extend I will be really thankful to you. Thanks a lot. So, we will go into the topic now. Now, both uh, distance of closest approach, in our video session, we will video session the distance of closest approach. And uh, impact parameter. In the end topics, they are outcomes of alpha particle scattering experiment. In the alpha particle scattering experiment, we observation the observation. Majority of alpha particles passed through the gold foil without any scatter, without any deflection. Of course, few alpha particles underwent deflection why, uh, I mean, through various angles. If the impact parameter, he has got to do something with the Angle of scatter. The scatter I poho kudia alpha particles in the angle of scatter and the scattering angle order in the impact parameter or a bangaramana relationship. In the relationship up in the video session, let me pack up. Okay, follow the topic. Now, let me consider an alpha particle which is emitted by the source and let the alpha particle be at a very large distance from the target nucleus. See, it's a gold nucleus here because it was a gold foil what Rutherford used in alpha particle scattering experiment. So let us consider an alpha particle which is at a very long distance from the gold nucleus. Now since the alpha particle is very far away from the gold nucleus, it's not going to feel the repulsion force offered by the nucleus. The nucleus could have an influence in the alpha particle feel pannad. It's a very long distance. Right. If in the long distance and the alpha particle, assume it is going to move in a straight line towards right, like this. So this is the direction of its initial velocity. Okay. Ipo, you can see the alpha particle is moving in a straight line. As the alpha particle moves towards right in a straight line, it comes closer and closer to the nucleus. As it comes closer and closer to the nucleus, it will start feeling the influence offered by the nucleus. Nucleus, our the repulsion force, our end up on our feel on our alpha particle closer over the it's coming closer and closer to the nucleus. The distance between alpha particle and nucleus keeps on decreasing. So, once when the alpha particle starts feeling the influence of the nucleus, it will take up a different path. Due to the force of repulsion offered by the golden nucleus, our order path and a change agum. So instead of going straight, it will change its direction and will take up a different trajectory. Trajectory of dinner path in Now, as it takes up a different trajectory, we will observe it once again. As it takes up a different trajectory, once again you can see the alpha particle is going farther and farther away from the nucleus. The distance between alpha particle and nucleus keeps on increasing. So at one particular point, the alpha particle will stop feeling the influence offered by the nucleus. So let me assume this is the point where the alpha particle stops feeling the influence offered by the nucleus. So in the point, just on the nucleus, repulsion force our feel. Imagine. So in the point, alpha particle, nucleus or influence just escape. On the point, now we tangent. So let me bring the alpha particle back to the particular position so that I can able to draw the tangent to the point. So this is the point where the alpha particle just escapes from the influence offered by the nucleus. So on the point, now we tangent. When the tangent is done, alpha particle on the initial velocity or direction, that is an angle form. So this angle is called scattering angle. Now the impact parameter has got something to do with the scattering angle. So how are they related? In the topic, right, before going into it, before proceeding, 
let us first define what is impact parameter. Impact parameter is defined as the perpendicular distance between the center of the gold nucleus and the direction of initial velocity of alpha particle, which is at a very large distance. Alpha particle large distance our initial velocity vector or direction gold nucleus or center perpendicular distance we call it as impact parameter and it is denoted by the letter b now what is that perpendicular distance perpendicular distance is here perpendicular distance generally is the length of the perpendicular line which joins two points rendu point kadala neenga perpendicular distance kandupidikkanumna andha rendu points or perpendicular line vachi join pannanum and the perpendicular line or length I am going to call it as perpendicular distance. So here I am supposed to find perpendicular distance between the center of the golden nucleus and the initial velocity of alpha particle. Appa in the end you know what to do? a perpendicular line which join join. And the perpendicular line or length is the impact parameter peru, as per the definition. So join it. So golden nucleus or center is Alpha particle or initial velocity, large distance alpha particle or initial velocity and the direction are you perpendicular line which I join panita. As per the definition, the length of this perpendicular line will give me the term impact parameter denoted by the letter B. Now in the impact parameter B and the angle of scatter of this alpha particle are related to one another. How are they related? Upring the other slide la pop. So the impact parameter and the scattering angle are related as impact parameter B is directly proportional to cotangent of half the angle of scatter. So that is cot theta by 2. If you the step, in the proportional sign, equal sign. Whenever I change proportional sign to equal sign, you have to multiply the right hand side by a constant. So here the constant is k. The constant of proportionality is k. So b equals k cot theta by 2. This is the constant k order expression and then keta 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into 2 z e square divided by m v o square, where v o is the velocity of the alpha particle when it is emitted from the source, that is initial velocity of the alpha particle m is mass of the alpha particle is that is the atomic number of the target nucleus and e is the charge carried by the electron okay so this is the expression for the constant of proportionality k ipo in the expression irukku liya idha na ipdiyum ezhudalam r not by 2 appadinu ezhudalam so short so ivlo periya expression nama simple ah eppadi ezhudalam na r not by 2 adala r not appingiradhu enna na Distance of closest approach. Distance of closest approach. In our earlier video session, I post on YouTube. So, if you look at that, you can see it. If you look at that, you can see it. Right now, what is the expression for R0? Distance of closest approach. 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. 4 is at E square divided by M V O square. Actually, here is 2 is at E square. Denominator is half. So, on the 2 one of the numerator, it end, I end up with 1 by 4 pi epsilon not 4 is a d square divided by m b o square. Now, we divide 2 and divide. Divide and the 2, 4, simplify. Panna, I end up with 1 by 4 pi epsilon not 2 is a d square divided by m b o square. Think, la? Apo, 1 by 4 pi epsilon not 2 is a d square divided by m b o square can be replaced by k. Apo, k equals and the debate panic and carrying an athania comes to parent. Up in the expression a kubadilla, Namena panicula, K use panicula. So what is K equals to R naught by two? In the term on the, I think it's not there in your textbook, so you can make a note of it. Where K equals to the expression Kutra Kangalia, Adaka Pakatra in the marining editing, that is K equals to R naught by two, where R naught is Abdin Edithi in the expression in a note panicking a book, pencil. Okay, right. If you add the slide. La, or additional point in the impact parameter pathi nama paapom adhu vandha unga textbook la irukad so adhu ungalku choose the correct answer multiple choice question la kekkaradhukana vaippugal romba adhigam so enna adhu abbingaradha adutha slide la paapom 
So don't forget this expression. Impact parameter B is equal to K times cot of half the angle of scatter. So B equals to K cot theta by 2. If the scattering angle theta equals to 0, if the alpha particle doesn't undergo deflection while passing through the gold foil, then we say the scattering angle is 0. So instead of uh, theta, let me substitute 0. I get cot 0. You know, cot 0 is infinity. So K into infinity becomes infinity. Therefore, impact parameter is infinity. So if you objective, the impact parameter of an alpha particle is found to be infinite, undefined. Then its angle of scatter is dash. So your answer should be theta equals to 0 degree. Now, one more point. If the scattering angle theta equals to 180 degree, that is an alpha particle which is undergoing back scatter. Then if I substitute 180 for theta, 180 by 2 becomes 90. So cot 90 is 0. Then this implies impact parameter is 0. So 0 into k will become 0. So if the impact parameter is 0, then the scattering angle of the alpha particle is 180 degree. It undergoes backscatter. If the scattering angle theta equals to 90 degree, so I, if, I, if I substitute 90 degree for theta, so 90 by 2 will be 45. You know, cot 45 is 1. And hence, I end up with impact parameter B equals K or R0 by 2. So impact parameter is found to be equal to constant of proportionality k or is found to be equal to half of the distance of closest approach. Then what should be the scattering angle? Your answer should be 90 degree. Up in the moon, answers will run the infer panla abdina angle of scatter kammi aranda impact parameter adhigamaga yirukum. Angle of scatter adhigama yirunda. Impact parameter kammi ahe Okay. So thus we can conclude smaller the impact parameter, larger will be the scattering angle and vice versa. Either nigga full love is all Smaller the impact parameter, larger will be the scattering angle and larger the impact parameter, smaller will be the scattering angle. So that's all about impact parameter. Please make a note of these points in your textbook. Because either on textbook like a day, but multiple choice question like a kind of wipe a So thank you. Have a nice day. Meet you in the next video session. Bye.